Wagwan <laughs> Well, well, the bongo <laughs> Yo, young Bob, Wagwan Yo, Mr. Nagwana Gwama Gwana Gwama Gwana Gwama Mr. Nagwana Gwama Gwana Gwama Gwana Gwama Mr. Nagwana Gwama Gwana Gwama Gwana Gwama Mr. Nagwana Zima Gwana Zima Gwana Zima Mr. Nagwana Zima Gwana Zima Gwana Zima Mr. Nagwana Zima Gwana Zima Gwana Zima What kind of hit you ever? Hit you ever? My guy, then the left neck bana bama, what can bunga yeba? Bunga yeba, my guy, my guy, but can I love what that love you controller? Controller, my guy, make your body run gana, have you controller, controller, one day the wag will blow like a bandana. We bought, yes, we bought up. Tell you what like them say we mad up. Me, I the best in a gana. Me, I the control gana. Make you worry, man, still a lead ya. See, I the rise in the higher. Check how they move in the higher, my guy. They tell you what they rag a wada, wada. See the way they move in the further. I the rise and they live in the better. Tell you what like them still a dap, my guy. Make you worry, little call me. Mister Nagwana Gwama, Gwana Gwama, Gwana Gwama. Mister Nagwana Zima, Gwana Zima, Gwana Zima. What can I eat you ever? Eat you ever, my guy. Then they let me burn and burn and walk away. Bunga ever, bunga ever, my guy, my guy. But can I love her? I've been controller, controller, my guy. Me your body run Ghana. I've been controller, controller. Sun there, my girl, like a bandana. Be the control of Ghana. Vibes, the young boy, we taking over. No evil can stop me, got you over. Bamu wasa, we taking over. Any boy try, we mundasa. Then for no one to see, Bamu wasa. Be that you know soft like massa. Never try the bass, yes I'm massa. We are the girl and flavor. Ready, we ready. One bar, I like to carry you down. We bad. Any boy try we them get dot. Mr. Nagwana Gwama, Gwana Gwama, Gwana Gwama. Mr. Nagwana Zima, Gwana Zima, Gwana Zima. What girl a hit you ever? Hit you ever, my guy. Then they let Nagwana Gwama know what girl banga ever. Banga ever, my guy, my guy, but can I love her? I be controller, controller, my guy. Me your body run Ghana. I be controller, controller. One day the bag will blow like a bandana. Mister Nagwana Gwama, Gwana Gwama, Gwana Gwama. Mister Nagwana Gwama, Gwana Gwama, Gwana Gwama. Okay, Mister Gwana Zima, Gwana Zima, Gwana Zima. And let me just say that we are taking questions from only five journalists. Thank you, because we want to keep this as short as possible. So thank you very much once again for honoring our invitation. So between the two of you, whoever is ready to start, we can go. Well, um, good morning, um, ladies and gentlemen. We have me to be here. As you can see, me and my brother are well prepared to really listen to you and you know also talk to you. I believe uh, it's a good initiative for us to come together here. You know, just for us to interact and see the way forward. So basically, as you can see, I'm here representing Chatter Movement. My brother is here from Beam Nation, and we just here. So we thank God for that. Yeah. No. Thank you very much, Ghana, for coming out this morning. I think via um, the and by the Naba, I mean I keep it personal before I go corporate but not. By the Naba, me, Yama Mensa Junior, me, Linus and Hedges and Tekla as well. I mean we're here. What? Dr. Kofi Yaban as well. We're here to I mean Ghana knows and we know better. And so if we're here, we're here for Ghana, the media men. We thank you guys for coming out today. And we're ready and willing to interact, like my big brother said, you know, all for Ghana at the end of the day. So let's do it. Yeah. All right, thank you very much. And yes, this is brought to you by the Kofi Aban Foundation. And uh, the Kofi Aban Foundation made this possible. And so the two of them will be addressing a number of issues, beginning from what happened on the night of the Music Awards.
Um, I mean, I don't even know where to start or how to start, but I'll keep it very short. I am a musician, and my brother Chatawale is a musician as well. Most importantly, we all do the same genre of music, you know, so whatever we do, however we do it, we are brothers, even if we like it or not. And then over the period of, over, over the years, we have all witnessed the friction and the rivalry that has been in our music industry, so to say. Knowing also that the media, the Ghanaian media that we have, I mean, thrive on such news and such headlines to, to grow, which is no lie, and we have to call a spade a spade. So, many a time, we have felt, you know, the punch from each other, either by what we heard, what somebody said, maybe something I said that I wouldn't mean it, maybe something that he said that I wouldn't mean it. We all know the environment in which we are. So, to keep a long story short, you know, we came, we've come a very long way, you know, representing for Ghana, Myself, he's done so many amazing things from the days of Bandana, rebranded to Shatawale, and has pushed. Um, to be honest, we all have individual ways of doing our things and approaching stuff. I, as an industry player, I will respect other people's modes of operation and therefore have accorded maximum amount of respect to every other artist in the country, and I'm sure that he also has you know, in his best of knowledge, been able to accord respect to people. But we also what happened on the night, which is not the main reason why we're here. The main reason why we're here, to be honest, is for peace, for love. Look at this, you know. And when we see each other together like this, we all should know that the future is brighter. And whatever there be, we have buried. You know, whatever the hatchet be, we have buried it. We've drowned every unnecessary stuff, you know, to move forward because we've always known, but by a turnout of events, we get to realize the importance of unity, the importance of coming together as a united force in our individual ways. You know what I mean? So, this is the main reason why we are here seated today, you know to say the peace conference, which is very important because the youth of Ghana actually love us and we drive the youth of Ghana hands down. Shatter and Stoneboy drive the youth of Ghana home and abroad, not only in Accra or Kumasi or whatever. So what is the best way? How else can we get this going without all these unnecessary few that the media benefits from, unnecessary few that somebody at home benefits from. Somebody, for instance, somebody will see me in town and say something like, wow, so this is what you expect me to do, but you don't know the outcome, the consequences. So, I actually see that we now have to put everything aside to address these people, to direct them and not allow them to direct us, you know? So, this is how short I want to keep it, and I will again say sorry and apologize, you know, for the roles that we have played, you know, in making this happen. Because, regardless, I'm a man of peace, he's a man of peace, as far as I'm concerned. And today, we're here standing for peace for Ghana, and we pray that the word of peace will be taken to the world as far as and beyond the point where the fracas got to. So we want this to be pushed to the BBCs, to the Al Jazeera's, to know that yes, these two people are together now, like they've always wished to be, to grow the industry of Ghana against other African countries and put the name of Ghana first because it's Ghana first, you know? So thank you very much. That's what I have to say. I was <laughs> I think my brother said no, but um, um, I was about to say, but um, basically, like he said, um, 
Um, yeah, we just want to apologize to, you know, all who felt bad, you know, to my Bimination fans, to my Shut Up of Red fans, you know, to my personal friends in the media, to my sweet people, you know, in the media. I just like to say, um, it always happens, and you know, like you said, you know, peace is what we all want, and we all want to get our business flourish and, you know, live a good life. And, it's an example we're setting for the next generation to come, so people should just, you know, understand this. And I know most people saw our pictures and they were like, no, that's Photoshop, that's what you know, Photoshop, I beg you. I believe you have seen the real video, and it's just nice, so. Oh, I did like, oh, no, 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 All right, can we clap for them, please? <laughs> Okay, so the most important point to take from what the both uh, gentlemen have said is that there is a Unity concert that is coming up and that Unity concert will see the two of them performing hit by hit to their teeming fans from all over the country and that's coming up. Do you both want to touch on it more, Shatawale? Um, I think my brother knows about it more, so I think he can. <laughs> this one, yeah, you know about it. <laughs> Start make a finish. Oh, Charlie, it's really there. Make or make you put your Facebook live. That we want you to feel pretty. That we that we want you to feel pretty. That we want you to feel pretty. Let's get my phone. You know what? Well, it's true. Um, we we planning to get you know something like that. Um, Ketsi, um, you know, Coffee Aban Foundation. Um, we really working hard towards this and I think he's one person who really sat us down and you know spoke to us about you know how we can move business so we are seeing it from the business side of life and people should just watch out for a great concert something to portray peace something to promote Ghana something to sell Ghana and you know as I said you know Ghana first is our newborn baby that we try to you know nurture and it's going to grow and we want the next generations upon next generations to come to really follow it up and yeah it's going to be a great thing and I, I want you know the media to also support us because I, I believe we've been you know here and there you know Stoneboy, Shatawale, Stoneboy but this is the time that we believe with our hands joined together we can be able to move kind of forward so yes the concert is coming up and you know, you're going to enjoy something nice. You know how we do it, you know. This time, too, nobody say we're going to be saying we Anyway, thank you. Um, uh, me, I'm going to go back small and I'll come join because a lot of people have actually made this possible. Somebody has here. Yeah, we're not going to be here and not give thanks to some people who have at least added a word or two. Even those people who would sleep at home and wish that Shatter and Stonewall came together to push the industry. Those people also made it possible for that to be, for us to be here today. Because by their wishes that they send into the universe, God hears it. And even us ourselves, you know, we have been willing and always been willing, you know. But like he, he said, there has to, you know, we need all forms of all other arms to be operational to make this happen. And that's why the Dr. Kofi Annan Foundation actually presented itself, you know, to, to play the role of that other arm to make sure that it comes to reality. But I do not want the media to feel like for such and such reasons only is a reason why we see the need to come here and engage in the board to talk to you because we have material motives. I do want to address that so that from the horse's own mouths, you guys will hear. We have been yearning for peace for a long time because in freedom, creativity thrives. You know what I mean? And in peace, we all feel at ease to work. So, thanks to the police force, you know, especially um, the Mediana Mimita. ACP, ACP, Yaku, the Jubu. She's been a mother and a big sister to us. And can I throw a secret? 
You guys would have seen a picture of us from time. But you know, tensions have to die down so that we don't play things up and all of that. So, you know, thanks to her, thanks to the yeah, original commander, commander the Mr. Kwesi Kwesi Furi, Furi, and then the DSP Mohammed. Uh -huh. You know, I, I think the original um, uh, uh, command, command, yeah, really um, helped us. You know, yes. enough. They they, they started uh, talking to us before. Yes, and thanks to the other small small places too. <laughs> now I'm sick and dying. And so thanks to everybody, everybody. The, I want to, I, I want to reiterate something that see the law actually works. You know what I mean. And then the police force are doing their best each and every day to make things work. And yesterday the president said in Canada, in addressing the rain stuff, he said one point. And I also was I mean we were discussing that our attitudes, our attitudes actually matter. So definitely we need to change our attitudes to us people, you know, to make sure that the police can work, the law can work, and we're all living what peace and harmony. So first and foremost, there's gonna be a concert a date, it's going to be announced soon, and I will not leave here by, by not acknowledging Bullet, our own brother. Forget about rough, rough, town. rough town, Bullet, our brother. When, when the shit, when the shit, and when the shit. <laughs> <laughs> He's also been around Dr. Um, <laughs> but I'm not you. <laughs> this is no disrespect. This is <laughs> kiss. You see, he's also been a brother to Dr. Kofiaba. So they also have pushed this man to realize that he has to go and hustle to be able to make this event. Happen. So just on that side, we have to acknowledge that. So definitely, and Anaba also, you know, say she did tweet, she did. She yeah, she's been, she's been up so much of friends. Yeah. So much support. Yeah. Not to say that the other people haven't been, but these are the people who have actually spent time and energy and left their jobs to come and make sure that look, let's capitalize and turn things around because people would think that Africa and Kenya they come up. So our big big nation is me. I've been beat to the core. Me, I'm a fan of myself, self. Uh -huh. So, we love ourselves as much as you guys love us. You understand? But the fight and the this thing game, definitely, it be natural. Things will come, but we have to understand it differently and make sure that at the end of the day, it will grow us or it will benefit us or it will put us in a good light. You understand? Because the negative, you know, the help. You may let me things for the feet. Sorry for the masses on the kind of DJ. They don't matter. We are local people. We are international people. <laughs> we are local and international, so we can blend. I get sometimes I forget. Mm -hmm. So at the back, we want that this press conference will reach the farthest end of the world because it doesn't take it, it doesn't take a widow's might to bring these mighty names into this room. And we're proud to come from Ghana and our Ghanaians and are willing to continue to do the most for Mother Ghana in peace. So media, please help us. Don't be crashing our heads. Eh? The headlines sometimes, when I read them, I say, ah! they are starting to think plan B. It's when they really know, I say, you know, let me just add something to it too. It's nice, but um, I believe most bloggers are in here, most media people are in here. I believe this is the time for us to start a new business. Yeah. This is the time for us to open a new venture. If you want us to be, please, let's have a meeting, like here, it's nice, <laughs> so that we'll plan it, so that the next time it won't be, you know, elsewhere, you know, people will be reading negatively. We can all make money when we come together, but if we stay in our solo rooms and solo places and feel like we can just put up headlines. We won't make money. So I beg you, me, the money is my problem. So let us hope. <laughs> All right. So the concept will be known as Ghana First. Uh, the Shatter and Bim Nation coming together for that particular concert. So it's Ghana First. Like Ghana not First. Not S-T-E-S-T. First. So I hope we're second in our money in Ghana for Ghana. Liberia for Ghana. Liberia Ghana. Definitely. So yeah. 
Now the questions to yeah. uh, open. Okay, so we'll take five. Is there anything else you guys want us to address? Or speak it will come about? up in the questions. Ah, okay, okay. Madam, it will come up in the questions. So um, if we can have, um, we're taking only five questions. Owusu Warai from TV3. Can you come forward, please? Over there, right there. It's fine. You're bringing your hand to Sorry. No, I mean, so, um, SMMD followed you over the few audience. Beyond the argument on the street and everything, one big wish of the fans out there is that the two of you work on a song together or maybe an album together. Is that possible? Then when is that happening? Thank you very much. And by so doing, we want to find out who will pay for the production. <laughs> Very important. <laughs> and you see, so there are technicalities that go into things like this. And for big brands like us, we have a, we have it down, written it down. And I think it will cost like it's a multi-million dollar venture to get us together to. But we're working on it. So we're raising funds now. Small, small, so that it gets to the end of the world. Yeah, and one think, day it will come. I think I need to chip in this. Chip in. I like the way um, Warre, yeah, right? Um, you asked about how our collaboration is coming up. I know most of you see music to be an easy thing for us to do, but um, it's business for me and him. You know, like he said, um, we've been friends from way back, and we understand the business. That is why. People see us today like this because long time ago we we're talking about this, like you know, from 2005. 2005, yeah, you know, those days, you know, Bullet was even around, and you know, and you know, can I break a secret before he ends? Can I? Can I? Don't, no, no, move fast. Okay, don't say yeah. again. <laughs> you know, when he got his first car by his record label, the first person they called was me to come and ride with him. This guy is my guy. And, and, and that day, no. <laughs> I swear, nobody know that speed. If you know that speed, you go. <laughs> that day, no. End of story. They seize the car. <laughs> Who sees it? Oh no, yeah. Okay. 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 So, the, the bloggers are here. If they want the story, we'll give it to them. But they'll, they'll pay some things more. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Let me just add that this uh, press conference is live on GH1 TV and also on GH1 TV's uh, Facebook page. Uh, so join the conversation across the social media network. So uh, the next question, Doreen Avir from Multimedia. Doreen, you can only ask the question when I've called you. Thank you. Um, good day, everyone, and yeah. congratulations to Stoneboy and Shatawale on this. <laughs> All right, so my question is, um, yes, we've seen this unity in the past. We actually saw it on um, a shaman to the world concept. Yeah. We've seen it countless times. But the question is, how long would it last? And for your fans as well, um, since the picture came out, it's yeah. always looked like it's fake. There's a disconnect. It's like there's a disconnect because, well, Shatawal is a funny guy, so there's always this facial expression. Mm -hmm. How is this going to last? And how are you going to promise us that? Nothing of this sort is going to happen again. Who answers first? Who are you doing that to? Shut up. Then me. Yes. Me. Or you. I, I think I think my brother can really answer this. <laughs> Yo, but to me, after years, after they owe me like one million dollar cost, I didn't answer the questions. So I beg you. I beg you. You can do it better. Okay. To be honest, before God and man, um, for us to get to this point. We have had to try a number of times. I have had to play my role a number of times because there is a willingness to see peace and grow in peace. And I, I can say this for us that regardless of who heard or who didn't, that day of an Ashima show was when my wife was stabbed when she had, was pregnant with my daughter. And then guess what? We took her to the hospital and my manager asked if you're going to be able to still perform. I'm like, why not? And that was the day we even did that. So I miss the storm. We still pulled it, right? And if it didn't last whatsoever, it's only right as human that we can try to, keep, to get to the top. Because a number of times you realize that when he has events, the media will keep asking me, are you going to go to the concert? Are you going to go to the concert? What did I do? 
I called Sanini, we tried, you know, and when I had my, he, are you, is it going to come up because I was riding, what did he do? He tried because that theft is danger zone as well, you know, the, for the rivalry, but, so, I just want Ghanaians and world to understand that we have always been trying, not just us, but why not? It starts from the top. Peace is key. The government preaches peace, the president preaches peace. So how much more the entertainment industry that the people listen to more than the presidency? Over the years we've preached rivalry and have put heads together to say competition, rivalry grows the industry is key. But tell me what rivalry has actually gained us. You know, that is ill rivalry, unhealthy rivalry. What has that gained us? You know what I mean? So the length, how I mean how the, the, the length of this unity is not dependent on us. We live into divine. But we always keep trying when we fall. Thank you. Add something. Okay. <laughs> Well, like you said, um, um, yes, we keep trying. We, we still want to see what the Almighty God has for us. But um, as mature people, you know, I believe he's a married man. He has kids, you know. I'm a bachelor, you know. <laughs> you are who? Bachelorette. Or <laughs> you know, and... We are, he has kids too, and you know, yeah, that, he has a kids. family. You have to have family. Yeah, you know? you know, but um, all I'll say is that you people are the people we need more to help us to grow this, you know, because to grow this, you need yeah, to get it you last. know, because uh -huh. I, I believe, you know, most of the bloggers here have gotten my Facebook videos, which are very popular, you know, which I apologize on here, this one's chemistry small. But um, all I just say is, just try and put us there, like the way we are seeing other African countries doing. You know, I believe he can hold my hand when I'm falling, and I can also hold his when he's falling. Uh, we all have, you know, you know, a little, you know, shortfalls here yeah. and there. But um, if people will support us, if people will treat us like the way we want to see ourselves, I believe we can all share the same idea and move on. Because the unity will last yes, a bit longer. Cause, yeah, because like he said, you know. Beef, competition. This guy is better than this one. This guy they do this one. This one they do this one. But it doesn't got in as anything in our industry. And I just want to urge everybody to just love us today and start promoting love from today, so we can have that peace. And you know, you like you guys can have us on your interviews, and you know me and Stone Boy, you know, try because we have a whole lot of projects we want to do now. Not only this, you know, we we are looking at the bright future. We are looking at you know, empowering like most of the youths, you know, to really learn from this so they can grow well when they want to be musicians. Because I believe now parents want their children to be musicians because of me and Stoneboy. You know, they've been musicians who, uh, who have come, but you know, they have not done the thing that we have done. And I beg you, sometimes I'm talking to them, my comedy is coming now, but let's just... You people should stop laughing. I'm serious. <laughs> but I love you people. And you people have to just love us like that. So that we can push it. The bloggers, the media people are begging. Right now, this is my brother. I, I give him a Jesus kiss. If like, I can give him Abraham kiss too. So that people are, we beg you. So you people should just support us. Because we are not perfect. We can't say, okay, today we are here. Nothing will happen. Tomorrow, maybe we'll meet at the filling station. And because of Fue. And it's oh Fue, Fue, Fue. They are fighting because of Fue. Yeah, you need to be some. So when you people help us, we can do well. So Dory, I think your question has been answered. Stop laughing. Please. Thank you. All right. Um, Dory, you like the answer? Yeah. And so it depends more on the media to help us. Like those pictures against you know, we all definitely is life. Maybe I'm going to make trust C will be not no try F will be but say the only way boom. Uh -huh. But because we are not fighting against each other, we are, we are competing against the world. Mm -hmm. We can't do that just by us hosting by, by you guys. Like the other day, to be honest, I posted a fan. We do post pictures. You realize that when we post pictures, it goes about on our blogs. But you don't see most often the international media rallying it around like the other.
fellow people. Now, I guess sometimes we talk with our brother Peter and can say, and I are here. But we try to be a lot of the other than the BAB. And then they say, you should be pushy at the end to extend the account. Their hands will be tied so much so that. So the media actually has the power by, by telling people, you know what I mean? So please, to last this relationship is you guys. Absolutely. Okay, we just take three more questions from GH1 TV, Adjoa Dal, City TV, and Hong Kong Sun. I'm sorry. Adjoa. Eugene. They want to call you Hong Kong That's his name. Hong Kong Sun. All right, so I just want to find out that after all is said and done, if Charterhouse decides today that they are taking up the punishment, are you ready and willing to still work with? the event company and be part of the award scheme, if for nothing at all, maybe for the fans? Thank you very much. If for nothing at all, maybe for the fans. For the fans, we have done a lot of things. For the fans, we don't have privacy. For the fans, we don't have a life. For the same fans, we don't sleep. We keep creating every day. And so the fans are key people on our hearts that we can't um, disappoint. The transcend from fans to citizens, to people who love us and want to see us grow, so we put a lot of work. For the fans, we have sacrificed so much that they don't even have an idea about. For the fans, we go through so much. For the fans, we've slept in places that we're not supposed to. So that's on the side. Charter House and VGMA as event organizers, I mean, over the years, we've, we've worked together. All upon the times where they ban Charter House. They sit back with him and bring him back. And now, now currently, both of us have been banned. So you realize that. Um, if they do decide by their discretion to lift the ban whatsoever, I want them to also understand that. Like we've always been, we are professionals. We're willing and open to work with whoever sees us fit to work with. Therefore, when it gets there, we will cross it. But I will admit that with the past brought and happened and the whole thing. I think that we, I mean I wouldn't address it but I think I should go there a little bit. The parties involved are not just me and Shanta, you know, but we have borne the most, right? We have borne the most. We have been banned, our awards have been straight, we've been, that alone is like a low blow, you know what I mean, and it's a thing that can have an effect on us. We've seen our musical president come and say the industry can do without us. To be honest, these are trying times and times that we should realize that we're not just a two in the place. And it's all of us. We should all mix to our fault. We have come out to apologize for the past time we've played. But Charter House, VGMA, hasn't come to say anything for the involvement, for that involvement, either being wrong or right. You know what I mean? And I want you to know that. So if they do lift the banners to their discretion by the board or by the people that sit there, we're willing to work and when we get there we'll cross it because we are professionals. We'll do things right this time. Have, might have not yet digested the fact that you guys have come together. 
they might come into underneath a roof and one might step on one shoe. Like, hey, why did they step on my shoe? And they get upset and they fight. And it causes a big shenanigans here in Ghana. What measures are you guys putting in place to make sure that doesn't happen on the night? All right. Uh, as usual, I'll take it again and my brother can close it. Uh, sorry if it's like being quite a minute and I'm on the center. So that's the procedure. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I, I would want Ghana and the world to understand that mentally it hasn't been easier for me than in government. If it has not been easy for, if it's not going to be easy for the followers who we cherish, they should also understand that it's never been easier for the leaders who they follow. But if we have been able to consider a bigger picture, Ghana first, I trust that by the love they have for us as those who they respect enough to lead them, they will buy into this and we need them to support this idea. Else, we'll just close and go and sleep because he is going to go into estate anyway. I'm going to do something else I will tell you guys anyway. We have our individual lives, but I don't want the masses to also understand that. To be honest, we do not have a life like they do. They have their individual lives and they were, were like the icing on the cake for them. We inspire them, yes, but who inspires us? We love them and we do this, but who loves us? It's only them that can love us and give it back. So we trust that this direction is not an evil one. And God knows that in peace we all go and in unity. So if we do come under one roof, then it leaves, I mean mentally, psychologically, I would ask them that they should have the strength to. Because we'll be a year old, maybe they don't cross a year. Two weeks ago, you guys saw the heights of it. And I know that the fans also get to their own levels. Some people fight, some people, we hear them, some people use knives and all of that. It would have to begin with us for them to get disinfected. Sorry if it's an infection. You know, now it has begun. So I beg them to mentally receive it. It may be harsh, but if they think it's harsh on them, it's harsh on us, if I can use that word. But we have to get it done. And then the measures that should be put in place now leaves the terrain of me and Shata. It goes into the terrain of security, terrain of law, media, publicity, which we trust that as professionals, we will make sure that try this time. Scanner, the scanner, I don't know why they use for We're going to make sure say, we, all the various departments will not go away with anything. So that we are all brought to book when they need be. Because we trust that we're all professionals only and we know what to do. So, like I answered for the Charter House staff, I said, when they decide again by their discretion, we are here. We will be professional. And um, one thing that I think people really don't also study about us musicians, like um, I think people feel we are swollen headed, you know, the perception outside is that we don't know what we have and, you know, we just move about anyhow. But uh, I would like to address this to everybody that these are funds that we started with them from day one and they really listen to us, you know. I mean, most of my fans, when you watch my performances, when you misbehave, I will tell you, hey, I'm now. Yeah, you know, so these are people who listen to us. He runs a nation. I run a, I run a nation, you know, and I, I would even like to say if the government will allow, they should even get a beam region and a shutter movement region because we control most of the youth in Ghana, but that is what positive, yeah, you know, that is what the leaders of this country are trying to avoid or they are trying to watch with a blind eye, but people should just understand this, that what we are doing today, our fans are watching and they're really going to follow it as such, you know. People say our fans are crazy, they're rowdy and this stuff, but we have nice fans, like the way um, um, Nana Drive, yes, I like the fan like this, very <laughs> you know, so people should just understand that what we are doing today, the fans are watching yeah. and they are just going to follow exactly like yeah. what they are hearing from us and the police thanks to the police they bring so much of help to us you know yeah. anywhere we go they are there and so
they are also going to work very well for us to have a very you know suitable entertainment industry. Yeah, and I want to add something more um, about the fan base thing. You see, we have come to a realization that it is okay, it is super cool if you don't like Snowboy and you like Shatawale. You know what? Once you like a brother who does the same thing and is a Ghanaian, it's okay. But if you don't like Stoneboy and you like somebody else, man, then now when I go think up, see, watch your step. And it's okay to like Stoneboy. And, and, and I mean, and also the other way around, if you don't like Shatawan. It's okay, but to cause fights and beefs out of that is where it goes beyond the border. I know people who love me so much and don't love him. I know people who love him so much and they tell me, say, me, they have shut off and all back. So yeah, why not? Come on, man. You know, so we're not doing, today, make you know, someone you know, see and say, hey, now I'm going to think how to love shut <laughs> oh. Love me, love me. You know, somebody to go to say, ah, now I'm going to think how to love shut They're very nice guy. <laughs> continue to love shut continue to love shut boy. But the peace, the significance be seen. Let us not take it to levels where we will destroy each other at the end of the day and gain zero. That's why it's kind of first. Because we are Ghanaians before Stoneboy. We are Ghanaians before Shaka. As our uh, showbiz names. So that is the essence. So that's what I want to ask. So don't worry. If you like, don't download my song to you, Ashata. I respect that. You have the rights too. So we just for have this understanding as people. Um, I hope say I add up something to that. And All thanks right. to the powers that be, the government, the top bosses that have so always been speaking to me and him over the years before today. I don't know if I can mention names because of levels, but they know themselves. And wherever they are, thank you, God bless you. We, we want to change the narrative. We're 2019 and in 2020, Africa must sing a new thing. And Ghana especially must have a renewed mindset so that we can grow. Because we wish to grow in the music industry. Right? Yeah. Exactly. Okay. We'll take a very last question from Eugene of Peace Center.